Hey everybody, just want to give you a quick sort of point of view of how it is over here on the west coast, right on the water. So this is where the ports are at, um, meaning that, you know, the distance between the port and the store is like, it's like less than a mile. Um, so I've started having to shop at Grocery Outlet Bargain Market because, um, you know, just the absolutely insane um, inflation. Um, so the, the one thing I noticed that kind of made me want to make this video was a, I don't buy soda, but a 12 pack of off brand, you know, like Big K or whatever, soda at Grocery Outlet Bargain Market before tax was a little over eight fucking dollars. And um, not too long ago, this was even during the pandemic, right? When everything was hell, that, that same 12 pack of on-brand soda, Coca-Cola, was maybe $3.99. Yeah, $3.99. So well, this is not 10 or 20% inflation. This is fucking double inflation. And it's not just soda. I started looking at uh, meat, you know, eggs, obviously, like, you know, people already know that stuff, but I don't think people know that up here, all of those staple goods have doubled in price. It is not 20%. It is not 10%. It is 200% increase in food. Um, this is, this is for pretty much everything except candy, which is, you know, like you can't survive off of that. Okay. Um, it's not very good for you. So yeah, candy has gone up in price at the 10 to 20% point. That's great. Actual like healthy uh, fruits and vegetables, about a hundred percent increase over here. So, so, you know, meaning like if it was, uh, $5, uh, or if it was $10 now, it's like 15 or whatever. I'm not great at math, but you understand what I'm saying. And it's, it's, uh, it, it kind of hit me really hard today. It's pretty soul crushing. Um, you know, knowing that I have a science degree from a brick and mortar university and with my specific degree, it's a prestigious one from that university. And, um, I, I'd been working for the state slash feds. So this is like a, a good job. Um, 40 hours plus a week. And uh, I will, you know, I did the whole math of it. And, um, you know, I have to rent. So so I have to live somewhere. Um, and the rent here is is pretty bad. Think, think, you know, Portland or Seattle, just a little bit better than that, but it's slowly catching up. So even though I'm, I'm paid well, 30% uh, mm, uh, or more 40 percent of my income goes to rent yeah. you might say like live with four people i'm 30 years old i would like to live with at least two to three people okay that that shouldn't be too much to ask um but with that there uh, i will never be able to afford a house imagine imagine like a boomer actually going to college, paying for it, going in debt for it, getting a full-time job for the state slash feds, um, working their entire life and not being able to afford a house. Like to, to a boomer that just, that does not compute. That's why you hear a lot of this like, it. thankfully, uh, you know, it's clear they're starting to get it, but that's why you've been hearing so much of like, like millennials, you know, they're just lazy and, um, you know, if anything, the the laziness is is just fucking like it's like hopelessness. Right? So, you know, nobody, no millennial is just like, oh, let's give up and roll over and but no millennial is gonna have kids. Okay, stop asking your fucking children to have kids unless you're giving them like a couple million dollars. Okay? <laughs> pay for the kid. We can't afford it on dual income. <laughs> Not one kid. I mean, you know, if you're willing to go in debt, 
yeah, probably. But I don't I shouldn't have to go in debt to have one kid on dual income. Yeah, so just disheartening, um, completely, uh, you know, I, it's not apathy, it's just like hopelessness. And, you know, not every day is like this, right? So today is just a bad day where it's kind of all culminating and, you know, you, you try and see, I try and see my future and, you know, I can see it, it looks fine, but it's uh, frustrating. Oh, yeah, and it's only going to get worse. All the food prices are still going up and housing is still going up. There was no housing bubble for millennials. Us, the, like, meme of millennials waiting for the bubble to burst. Okay, I guess it's not going to, unfortunately. It hasn't. And uh, it went past that period where it might have and it's just getting worse. Yeah. Mm, let me know what you think.